Larry Vickers, Vickers Tactical Channel. I'm in the Czech Republic at Cellar and Balot. My buddy Mike Fisher, and we got something special for you. Mike, what do we got? Larry, uh, behind us is a new $200 million uh, production hall. So we're gonna take you through the uh, process creating rifle ammunition from cups to finished products. All right, we're here at the first step. Mike, what do we got? We've got raw material that comes in the uh, strip form here. If you go through the machine behind us. And punch out the uh, cups for cases and jackets. All right, so we need to discuss real quick the annealing process. It is, that's a critical part in the process. Uh, that'll allow us to work the material without inducing any stress. Got it. So we're at the uh, drawing press behind me. This is where we'll take the cups and draw them or pull them into what will ultimately become a 556 case. I noticed multiple steps. There are about 12 steps in this process. These machines can produce everything from pistol caliber, rifle caliber, currently produced by Bunches. So we've had a number of quality control inspection steps to get to this point, but now we're at the turning machine where we're going to cut an extractor groove and trim the case to initial overall length. All right, Mike, at this station, what do we have going on? So we've moved into bullet production. We've got a transfer press here behind us. Right now it's producing SS-109, a uh, fairly complex projectile. And you can see the various stages that go into this production. We'll end up with a good 5.56 round at the end. Excellent, pretty cool. This will be done and we can move into loading procedure. You ready? Mike, what is the overriding theme at this location? So this area is all about the quality control inspection process, arguably the most important step in the entire procedure. So what we're doing here is inspecting every single case. We're, we're literally taking a picture of every extractor groove to make sure it meets spec. So everything is either perfect or it's scrap. There's no in between. I've noticed watching this, if something's out of spec, kicked out. It is. It is. Like I said, that goes to recycling, but it's not perfect. So we've uh, progressed to the loading stage, the final stage in the process. We've got prime cases that come into the machine, powder, projectiles, everything combined at 160 rounds per minute to produce 7.62 by 51 at this point, though we can load a variety of calibers. The same machine will do 5.56? It will. And there's your final product, loaded 76251. And this, this same machine will do 556, five, it just happens to be set up for 7628 no, right now. This is flexible, you can run virtually any rifle caliber on this machine. Good deal. Yeah. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Appreciate you can check them out. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bringing a rifle round to life here at SB Czech Republic. Mike Fisher, LAV out. <laughs>